So my name is Dr. Richard Silvera. I'm an assistant professor of infectious diseases at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Yes, so the vaccine that we're using against monkeypox is called the Genos vaccine, and that has been FDA approved for uh, use against preventing both monkeypox and smallpox. So it is an FDA approved vaccine. So the vaccine is made from what we call a live attenuated virus. So what that means is that there is a virus in the vaccine that has been medically altered to prevent it from reproducing. So that vaccine is then um, given to people and that teaches the body how to fight that virus. The Genos vaccine that we're using in the US um, causes two types of immunity. One is called humoral immunity, and that's like building antibodies that help fight the uh, viruses if their bodies are later exposed to them, as well as cellular immunity. And cellular immunity is teaching your body how to recognize cells that are infected and to eradicate those cells if they do have the monkeypox virus inside of them. So our vaccine creates both of those types of immunity. Right now, with limited supply of vaccine, Department of, the Department of Health and the uh, CDC are focusing on people who are most likely to contract monkeypox in the immediate future, so in the next several weeks. So for right now, we're defining those people as men who have sex with other men who have either had two sexual contacts in the last 14 days or an anonymous sexual contact in the last 14 days. And that's what, those are people who are at high risk of attracting monkeypox in the immediate future. That, of course, may change as the epidemic evolves. So you have to stay posted as we have new recommendations. So the vaccine has undergone safety trials, and the most common side effects are, are side effects common to most vaccines. Um, things like pain at the injection site, redness, swelling, headaches, um, and feelings of fatigue. More, more, re more rarely, sometimes people experience fever or chills after getting the vaccine. So the vaccine does offer some protection after the first shot, but it takes about two weeks after the vaccine is given before that protection comes into place. So you have to wait about two weeks after getting the shot before you have any protection. So it takes a little bit of time. Clinical trials have shown the vaccine has about an 80 to 85% effectiveness in preventing infection on the individual level, but estimating how effective that vaccine will be for communities currently experiencing increased rates of monkeypox, we don't know quite yet. We're actively studying that currently. Um, we don't know how long this protection will last. Um, every epidemic is a little bit different, um, but so we don't know quite well how long this, this particular vaccine will give protection to people. Not quite yet. At this point, we would not recommend vaccination to people who have an allergic reaction to any component of the vaccine. Other than that, anyone who meets criteria would be recommended to get it. So if you receive a routine smallpox vaccine, you probably are not protected against monkeypox right now. I would not assume you have any extra level of protection, and if you meet eligibility criteria for getting the current vaccine, I would seek it out and get the new vaccine. So the current recommendation is not to do those two vaccines at the same time. We recommend having four weeks in between getting either the monkeypox or the COVID vaccine and the other one. Um, and that's helped to help protect people from having any adverse side effects. I would just say in summary, the monkey patch vaccine is safe and effective. Um, and we really do recommend people who meet the current eligibility criteria to get vaccinated as soon as they can, reach out to your, your doctors and, um, and public health officials for help getting connected to a vaccine site.